I know how life can change on a dime. Even after everything they've been through, Khloe Kardashian has managed to reach a peaceful place with Tristan Thompson. And even after everything they've been through, Kanye is still roasting Kim about her fashions. Orange look made me so mad, would have went to jail before I went out in that. The earth is healing. I've got the biggest moments from season two, episode three of The Kardashians on Hulu. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Now, we all saw the paternity scandal drama leading up to the birth of Chloe and Tristan's son. She may or may not have accepted a proposal from him before everything popped off. It's been a lot. But when asked how she managed to reach a peaceful place with Tristan, even through all of that, Chloe had a very simple answer. It's probably maybe practice. <laughs> like, I mean, I think a lot of people maybe forget that I've been through a lot of BS. She reminds us all that her ex-husband, Lamar Odom, had a very public drug problem. He OD'd in a brothel and a lot of other things that, quote, probably aren't forgivable. But she's been able to forgive him anyways and move on. It only hurts me by holding on to all this stuff, so let it go. Let go and let God. It doesn't keep mom Chris from worrying her daughter is internalizing everything, though. We're always rooting for you, Chloe. Also, just tell me your son's name. Just me. You don't have to tell anyone else. Just me. It's all about the exes in this week's episode as Kim gets a very Kanye text from her ex while getting ready for the Prada fashion show in Milan. No white glasses. <laughs> Better um, make security wear black gloves. The orange look made me so mad would have went to jail before I went out in that. Now in Kanye's defense, here was Kendall's read on the same look. It kind of changed. looked like you have a diaper on. Now, Kim was married to Kanye for like almost a decade. She's taking this all as a sign that things are actually going well in their split. We can laugh about things we like or don't like. No matter how crazy things are sometimes, we're always gonna be family. Plus, we finally get like proof of life of her relationship with Pete Davidson. She buys him a New York hat as a little souvenir and says this. Pete has the best heart. Now, how much more of this relationship are we really gonna get to see? I don't know, but I am very interested in the Met Gala footage or at least footage of Pete's spray tan. What was going on with that? Meanwhile, over in Courtney and Travis's happy little bubble, the two are going through IVF and Courtney is really embracing gaining weight now that she's in a healthy relationship. We love to see it. Having a partner who's so supportive of me and always complimenting me, like no matter what, it's just like helped me to really embrace the changes. Now she said at first it wasn't easy accepting her body changing, but she's finally gotten to a place where she feels sexy, hot, and fly, despite really previously being hooked on the number on the scale. She even said it feels cringy looking back on her super skinny days now, just knowing how anxious she was all the time. I used to always say this, like when I'm super skinny, just know I'm not happy. I love this for Courtney, and she is always stunning at every size. These Kardashian love lives are all over the place and I can't wait to see what they bring us next week. So let me know what you think in the comments, like and subscribe on our channel and head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. <laughs>